Yo, hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to talk about structures, and I think it's going to be a little bit of a shaky uh, episode because, uh, uh, as you can see, I'm balancing and sitting on my uh, Repo 120, and uh, I'm doing this because this is exactly what we're going to talk about. Um, as you might have seen in my Spiergans, uh, there is these uh, black lines that uh, uh, go uh, from the back uh, to the tip of, uh, of the barrel and uh, there are two for the regular uh, spear guns so the O2, the Repu and the Ono um, single and double and triple band and there is four of them for my roller guns uh, so the Vau, the Vau Extreme and the Yave. Um, why I put uh, uh, carbon fiber into my lamellar wood? Uh, for two reasons. Um, the first one, I really want that the gun stays in shape for uh, a lifetime. And of course, uh, um, all wood, even if it's uh, well treated, even if uh, it's a teak, so the best wood in the world to make spear guns, um, it's uh, never free from moving uh, because uh, especially when we uh, do marine uh, use so we put it in the water, we put it in the sun, back in the water, back in the sun. This is where the wood uh, works a lot. And uh, uh, adding four layers of uh, carbon fiber will ensure that uh, uh, it's not going to go anywhere. So um, the second reason why I do it is uh, because I really wanted to add more structure, more strength to the barrels, especially when it came. Um, to um, adding a lot of power in my Vela system. Um, the thing that happens with Vela system is because they are demultiplied, uh, we have half of the load on the top part, while all the big load is in the, uh, under, uh, in the lower part of the gun. So basically this was ending with a little bit of uh, bending uh, of the guns. And this happened to me in my first prototypes and uh, so I started to uh, layer up uh, by myself um, carbon fiber into the lamellar wood, but I was finding that it was never enough. And uh, so I was uh, the first to introduce this new system, which is adding carbon plates into uh, the lamellar wood. Um, I am practically the only one that is doing this for many reasons. One of this is that uh, um, working carbon fiber uh, is... Um, quite a, a mess for what is it, uh, the tools and the environment uh, in terms of a work environment. So um, I obviously had to take precaution for all this. And uh, now I reached a good level so I can actually uh, make it happen very easily. But um, the guns with this structure are practically indestructible. I am currently... Um, 200 pounds, so 95 kilos, and uh, as you can see, I'm holding on a repo, so it's the gun with the two uh, bands, um, two uh, stringers, carbon stringers, and as you can see, I'm literally jumping on it, there is no problem, uh, the gun doesn't crack, uh, there is no noise um, that is happening here, it's uh, uh, definitely um, super, uh, super strong. So, um, I don't want to uh, hold you too much into this. Um, I wanted to do this because I really believe that uh, if you work it correctly, carbon fiber and wood are two materials that can get along very good. One is uh, uh, natural and uh, very easy to uh, model, uh, to um, carve into uh, shapes that uh, are uh, focused on where to put the balance and uh, uh, to improve maneuverability and thing. And adding carbon fiber uh, definitely improve the structure and uh, the technology of the whole uh, aspect of the spear gun. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make uh, beautiful guns, but I also wanted to make them very, very uh, performing. 
So, um, nothing else. Um, subscribe to the channel, help us grow uh, if you wanted to see more content like this, uh, if you didn't do it already. Uh, put a like, share it with your friends, and as always, enjoy it.